What's happening, YouTube? It's Steve-O, aka Stitch and Destroy. Um, I'm trying to get into the whole YouTube thing, just trying to, I don't know, talk about what's on my mind or make some videos or, I don't know, just show you guys what I like to do in my everyday life, I guess. Um, one of my obsessions is hockey jerseys. Uh, love hockey jerseys. Love hockey. Uh, go Kings. Um, I guess we can start with uh, Geeky Jerseys review. Um, you know, just to start out the whole jersey collection, I'll start out with the Geeky Jerseys. Geeky Jerseys basically is a company that they will put <clears throat> movies, TV shows, comic books, Almost anything you can think of um, on the jerseys. Uh, this one in particular, the Troopers jersey. Quality is amazing. You got the patches on the side. This one was actually ordered a little late, so it has Trooper 77 on it, which is the generic. If you get it in time, you can uh, <clears throat> customize it like my Phasma Geeky Jersey. Got Destroy with the number six on it. Since that's my number. Bam, sick. Get some first order patches on there. Like I said, the quality is insane. Love these things. I'll throw a link out to the Geeky Jersey so you guys can check these out. <clears throat> so basically how it works is they'll come out with a new design and it's up for about a month. You have a month basically to jump in there, get what you want on it, and then maybe wait another month to get it. Like that. Just picked up this guy from them. Super sick. Super stoked. Bam. Super sick stuff. Um, that's the one I love, but had to get my last name put on the one. This is the Black Squadron. This one's pretty fucking rad too. Now let's move on to the NHL jerseys. <clears throat> Mostly Kings, of course. Um, I do have a couple other jerseys that aren't Kings. Um, my favorite players though, so say what you want. <laughs> I'll start out with the purples, the old schools, and kind of show you how the jerseys changed. Um, as you know now, they just recently switched to Adidas this year. Uh, we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> but if you look at some of the older style jerseys, like the CCMs and the Cohos, they're a lot bigger in the arms. We call them wings. Parachute, parachute arms. Um, this is an old school Felix jersey. But I mean, quality was amazing in these things. Old school logo, love it. So when they switched over to Reebok, <clears throat> the material got a lot thinner, the arms got a lot slimmer, even the insides got a little slimmer too. Then went from that to this. See, it's a little slicker. Arms aren't as big. Got the Steve O on this one. Got to love the change a little bit. It's still fun to wear the big ones. Wintertime, the hoodie. 
Any jersey with a hoodie is a good time. My faves. Um, let's see. Gotta have your classic home black. My favorite player, Mr. Jay Quick, is the shit. My uh, proper barbershop patch on there. It just works. Also, if you're gonna do a home, you gotta have a custom. You got the first order patch on there with the number one for first order and Kylo, the shit. Hell yeah. Um, NHL jerseys also come out with custom, or not custom, but uh, special edition jerseys. They're not gonna do it anymore because <clears throat> Adidas announced that they're only gonna have home and away. That's it, that's it. There's gonna be no more special editions, which bums me out because the special editions are the best part. Here's one of them. This one was called the Cross Check. There was actually two editions of these made. One of them was a lighter gray. It was kind of weird. I don't know why they did that. Um, but the charcoal one was sick. The patch up front is awesome. I love this one. The top was a little, I thought it was a little weird. Thought it looked a little soccer-ish, but when it's on, it works. Kopitar, good shit. Um, another one they came out with was the Accelerator, which was awesome, I thought. Almost all black, well, pretty much all black. Cool ass nameplate, nameplate's rad. Uh, the letters, the only thing, yeah, the only thing my that I didn't like about it was that the numbers and the front patch are like a nylon. They did something kind of weird on that one, but I still love the fact that it's an all black Kings jersey, it's sick. Um, the one I am bummed out about that I did not get is the Black Ice Kings jersey. I haven't been able to find one, uh, a real one. <clears throat> I don't really buy fake hockey jerseys um other jerseys you can hardly tell so whatever hockey jerseys i will not buy a fake but anyways uh just to kind of show you what the black ice looks like it was almost like the accelerator um all black with just like an accent so i think the king's one was all black with a charcoal gray insane it was sick um the other one i do have is an alex ovechkin black ice Another one of my favorite players. So I had to have the jersey. I had to have the black ice jersey. Might as well, right? And while I'm on other favorite players that aren't kings, <clears throat> I'd already mentioned Jonathan Quick. It's the shit. Love you, Quickie. Uh, Ovechkin, the shit. If you don't know who Ovechkin is, look up his highlight reel. Dude's awesome. He's the shit. Uh, and the other... Number three for the top three favorite players of mine, Broder. I know a lot of my LA fans are gonna, or LA fans, a lot of LA fans who are also friends, are gonna be like, what the fuck, really? Devils? Yeah, yeah, Broder was the shit growing up. He was, he was my quick before quick, which made the 2012 Stanley Cup Finals insane for me to see see Broder go up against Jonathan Quick was it was it was a dream come true and for the Kings to win was an even bigger dream come true because it was the first time we got our Stanley Cup ever and I've been watching since I was 12 maybe 11 <laughs> we'll go with 12 um, so yeah that's some jerseys that's me rambling I guess for 10 minutes um, if you took the time to watch this fuck yeah cool I'll try to make some more videos um, if anybody is watching this comment on what you want me to post a video about um, let's see yeah and we'll go from there thanks guys
whoever watching it, whoever's interested. Um, yeah, pop your jerseys. Go Kings, go. Peace. See, I was so nervous doing that first segment that I t totally forgot to show my two personal favorite hockey jerseys that I own. Anyways, um, I'll save the best for last. So, one of my personal favorites for my top two jerseys would be the stadium jersey. These big ass numbers. It looks so dope. I got mine personalized, of course. You gotta have the personalization with the patch. This was uh, the second Stadium Series versus the Shark. I did not get the first Stadium Series jersey. That is one I'll eventually hunt down. Eventually. But uh, for this being light, I guess, because I'm usually in all black. Like I said, I love the all black stuff. Surprisingly, this is one of my favorite jerseys. I love it. Personally, I think it looks best in this jersey. This jersey's awesome. Love it. Um, now, for my personal top favorite jersey that I own, it is amazing. Bam. The King's 50th anniversary jersey. So sick. It's got the gold trim on it. Gray. We got two stripes on the arms to represent the two cups. Two cups. You hear that, Anaheim? Two cups. Anyways, you got the inside with the purple and gold. Represent first generation of the Kings. With the 50th patch. Sick. We even got some, some laces up front. Love this jersey. And the All Star. All-Star patch from the uh, All-Stars this year at the Staples Center. Had to go with the Jake Muzzin strictly because number six is my number. For this jersey, I needed a number six. Um, Muzzin's still cool, but mainly rocking this for the six. Rocking this because it's my favorite. This jersey was amazing. Love it. This is the best one. Number one on the list. I think I got everything else. If I forgot, then I'll obviously add it in. Whatever. Peace.